Hey, what's up everybody? AJ here with AJ and KT Gaming, and uh, it has been a while since we've made a video. Um, but Monster Hunter World just recently released the collaboration with The Witcher 3, and if you all know me, uh, you know I love Monster Hunter World, you know I love The Witcher 3, so this is like a dream come true. Such a cool collaboration, and uh, yeah, I figured I would do the, uh, the quest for our channel and just uh, talk to you all. Now you might be wondering why Katie's not here. That's because she's out doing secrets. She's doing secrets because in just uh, next week, just a little bit here, I'm turning 30 years old. It is pretty weird. It feels weird to say I'm going to be 30. But yeah, so she's out doing secrets. So I'm at home playing some Monster Hunter World. And uh, yeah, sorry for the chit chat. Let me, uh, I, I don't even know anything about this. I've, I've seen like a trailer for it, but uh, I don't know where to go to get started. So uh, I'm going to figure that out. These guys have an exclamation point above their heads. So let's see what they want. I haven't played in a while. Uh, so, ah, the Sapphire Star. Just the hunter we were looking for. Paris. You have to come back to the research base with us. The old Linian expert lady wants to talk to you. You see, we were out on a safari when suddenly a tail raider we've never seen before joined and followed us back to base. It got a really scary face. Even scarier than yours. But, but it didn't try to eat us or anything. The old expert lady didn't know what to make of it, so we came here to find someone that could help. But Estera is pretty big, and everyone's so tall. Thank goodness you found us first. Paris Hunter, lend us a paw. Will you come back to the research base with us? So, uh, something has happened at the research base. Head there at your earliest convenience. Special assignment. Unrelated to the Research Commission's main mission of solving the Elder Crossing. Collaboration title. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's got a lot of language options. Um, yeah. If it's a collaboration title, I feel like this is probably The Witcher collab. Freeze Hunter, come back to the research base with us and hear what the Linian expert lady has to say. Yeah, let's do it. Many thanks, Hunter. Let's head out right meow. I said this last time uh, when I made the video about just loving this game, like almost a year ago. But I just love the cat puns. Everything, the Palico stuff is just so awesome. Monster Hunter World... If you watched that video, you know it is uh, my first Monster Hunter game. And I mean, I'm just like... Katie and I haven't done our Game of the Year video yet, still for 2019. But, spoiler alert, this game is pretty high up on my uh, on my list. Did I say 2019? I meant 2018. You know, last year. That one. Alright. So, not you. Ah. What's up? Whoa. Quite the pickle this is. Yeah? Oh, Hunter. I'm glad you're here. Do you see that curious creature over there? It suddenly showed up out of nowhere. It must have followed the Tail Raider Safari in the ancient forest and made its way back here. I've tried to figure out what it could be, but I've given up. I haven't got a clue. It doesn't even speak. Wow, this is so cool. I'm beginning to doubt that it's from this world, or that it's even living, for that matter. Whatever it is, it's outside my area of expertise. It's best the commander was informed of this. I'll send a feline to fetch him right away, Mind staying around here until he arrives? A peculiar case, to say the least. I'm interested to see what comes of it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I see. 
I think I understand the situation. Though I'm not really sure what to make of it just yet. Oh yeah, this is, uh, I believe this voice, if I remember right, is the same voice actor who does, uh, who does, uh, what's his name? I think Sojiro Sakura, right? In Persona 5. So, uh, I really like this guy's voice, because when I played Persona 5, Sojiro was like my, my, my pa. I really loved him. So, uh, this guy I immediately was endeared to hearing the voice again. <laughs> Just to be safe, we shouldn't get too close. But judging from the look of it, none of its features seem to resemble anything close to what we know as a living creature. Are you saying that this creature could have come from another world? <sighs> Seems like a lot of that going around lately. I believe we might find the answer to that in the ancient forest, where it was first spotted. There are too many unknown factors that exceed our knowledge. We need to conduct this investigation with extreme caution. It seems it might take a while to get to the bottom of this. If only there were someone who knew exactly what this was. If only. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Not again. Damn portal. Folk wonder why I hate him. Wait, you don't see me as a threat? Where am I? The New World. Third Fleet's research base, to be more specific. And you are? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Was tracking a monster through the forest when... Well, I was transported here of a sudden. Must have been magic of some kind that brought me to this world. <laughs> Great. Magic? In our world? This is like something out of a fairy tale. What you're saying is hard to believe, but after what we've just witnessed, I don't think we have a choice. A Necker? Well, well, quite familiar with those. How'd that one even get here? It came from the ancient forest. If we head there, maybe we can find clues to why you and the Necker came to our world. However, I fear monsters from another world might be beyond what the research commission is capable of handling. Tell you what, happen to be a monster slayer of sorts myself, so... Venture to say I could take care of your problem in the woods. At a price, of course. Deal. We're counting on you. Let's go over what we know. First, this creature is called a Necker, and it is not from our world. Second, the Necker was somehow transported from its world to the ancient forest. And third, what caused this Necker and our Witcher friend here to come to our world remains unknown. Beast probably dropped through a portal like I did, a different one wound up in this ancient forest of yours. Worth looking into, I'd say. Anything else I should know? Doesn't matter how trivial you think it might be. Yeah, there's uh, monsters everywhere. Anjanath, Devil Joe, uh, there's probably gonna be some Jagras all around. Great Jagras, Metro Swallow, you hole. Puke Puke. Uh, oh yeah, Rathian, Rathalos, Azur Rathalos, right? Yeah. We should tell them about all those guys, let's do that. Now that you mention it, there have been reports of an unusually large number of revultures recently. They're scavenger birds with black feathers. That's what we're going to talk about? The birds? 
Come on, Handler. Tell about all the... Scavenger birds. <laughs> Sounds fun. Now he's only going to be expecting revultures, guys. The Commission will provide support in whatever way we can. I've already sent researchers ahead to investigate the matter. If you cross paths in the forest, don't hesitate to ask for their help. Sweet. Thanks. Normally, I'd have you handle assignments like this. Yeah, this is weird. But given what we know of the situation, I'm leaving this one in the Witcher's hands. I'm the Sapphire Star, dude. This is a big deal, man, if you're leaving me at home. Which doesn't mean we can just sit around. It's our job to make sure the Witcher has everything he needs to get to the bottom of this. Yes, sir. Let me handle this one, Hunter. Promise I'll tend to it right away. Oh, this is epic. I have, like, goosebumps. Oh, man. Do you want to help Geralt of Rivia? You get to play as Geralt of Rivia. Equipment for this quest is predetermined. You can only keep quest reward items. Meal effects are lost upon departing. This will not count towards the guild card's weapon usage statistics. Yeah, I want to help. I read this is only available till like, the end of February, so... I, I don't know, man. I just... This is so cool. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt was my favorite game from 2015. And then... You all will soon find out what rank Monster Hunter World is for me in 2018. Uh, but, I mean, this is just such a cool collaboration. Oh, man. And, I mean, Monster Hunter World is like the gift that keeps on giving, too. Like... This is free. Like, this is free. They just, for the last year, they've just done free stuff over and over again. Like, if any game has ever deserved our money for, like, DLC and cosmetics and stuff, it's this game. Okay, so... Complete the special assignment. Oh my gosh, Igni sign. Oh my god. Meet up with the chief botanist. Meet up with the endemic life researcher. I wonder, wait, I, I didn't even see. Is this timed? Um, I, okay. Well, I'm just going to play. So let's see what we got. got. Potions, mega potions. Got some first aid med. Life powder. Okay. Max potion, ancient potion. Well, that's a jerky. Okay, cool. Got some flash pod. Wait, so do I have like... Yeah, okay. What happens if I do like the demon dance? <laughs> Okay, so I just got like... Can I just load this up the same way, I guess? Yeah. A tool that shoots projectiles. Pretty useful. Not exactly a tool of the Witcher trade, but looks like it could be useful. Oh, this is so cool though. All right, all right. I don't know if I'm timed or not. I don't want to blow this. Commission member. Should talk to him. Good to see you. Pleased to meet you, Master Witcher. I'm one of the Commission's smithies. The commander ordered me to set up shop here and make sure you have whatever you need at your disposal. I'm not sure if you have weapons like this where you're from, but I put together a selection of some of the best we've got. Be careful. If you want to change any equipment, come see me and I'll get you what you need. I mean, I might, but I mean, I like just kind of the default stuff. Oh, so there's just default. Oh my. Oh. So there's just like something for Geralt of everything. I just want to use the sword, though. I mean, hey. But I do want to check out some stuff, like, like the dual blades. That's like what I use. So part of me wants to. Oh wait, these just look pretty basic. I don't know if these are. Are these? Can't. Can't really like tell. Okay. So that's interesting, though. I still can't do. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Geralt stuff. I mean, that's cool that you can choose, though. Right. Yeah. Oops, keep, keep doing that. 
Must have been playing a game recently where square was attack. I think Hellblade's the newest sacrifice. Yeah, I've been like catching up on the backlog right now. Cleaning up the backlog, I should say. Um, and it's funny though, because it's like with so many games coming out recently, it's like all that happens is the backlog grows in other ways. It's like I, I clean some up and then more get added. So many games coming out right now, like Jump Force and Metro like Exodus. And, uh, Wonder what kind of potion you could make with it. What's the other one? Ancient forest, huh? Easy place to get lost, looks like. Yeah? Should follow the map. Try to find the commission members. But yeah, so, uh... Basically, though, there's still plenty more games I need to... <laughs> need to get to. Um, but I've been playing some games that... Come, have come out in the last couple years that I just had never gotten to, like Hellblaze New Sacrifice, because it finally came out physically, and oh my gosh, it was awesome. So that's what I was saying there, with the controls. A commission member could know something. That monster mangled pretty bad, from what I can see. You got that right, huh? Wait a sec, aren't you, Geralt? I'm a witcher. See a lot of dead bodies in my line of work. Right. The witcher guy. The commander said you'd be around. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Actually, need to learn about the recent strange happenings in the forest. Got a feeling that carcass could be linked. You might be right. I've never seen monsters leave their prey looking like this. Like to check the body if you don't mind. Let's have a look. <laughs> yes. Broken bones, swollen muscles. It was running away from something. Collapsed here. Captain Oth will only run if they feel threatened. The whole herd will run to a safer location. No other Aptonoth around. Whatever attacked this one waited until it had separated from the herd. Clever. Bodies riddled with puncture wounds. Yeah, by something small and pointy. Bird's beaks, lots of them. Looks like a whole flock attacked it. Herbivore, gotta be, judging by the shape of its head. That's right! It's called an Aptonoth. Very docile. They usually travel in herds. All of them this big? Quite the feast for a predator. Yeah, they're actually a favorite among the larger monsters, and, um, well, us too. You could say they are quite tasty. Uh, but yeah. It's not uncommon to see an Aptonoth carcass lying around here and there. So, seems a flock of birds attacked it after it was separated from the herd. Ran for its life while being pecked at, dropped dead here. It's so strange. I've never seen these birds prey on living monsters. It's just unheard of. Gonna search the area, see if I can find more clues. Okay, I'll be around here if you need anything. Should search around the body. Might find the tracks of whatever did this. I just saw it. This is called Contract Trouble in the Ancient Forest. That's so cool, too. Alright, so I gotta look for tracks, I think you just said. I, there's so much right now, I'm like... Feathers. Ooh. Black. From the birds that attacked the Aptonoth. Gotta be. Just need to follow these. Should find where it was first attacked. They did such a good job with this already. Like, I know this is like lame of me to say probably, but I feel like I could cry right now. These two games being in the same like universe right now is just so like, so cool to me. Black feathers. And the markings? Same as on the previous corpse. Fox seems to be attacking as one. 
No use trying to pick them off one by one. Jeez. Could incinerate them all with Igni, though. Don't see any other way. Let's boin some boids. Get out of here. <laughs> you okay, Witcher, sir? It's Mr. Witcher to you. I'm fine. Seems the black birds are the culprits. Well, that was an open and shut case. Revultures. They're scavenger birds that enjoy large monsters' leftovers. They're usually harmless. I can't believe they would attack a living Aptonoth. Notice anything else in the forest recently? Anything out of the ordinary? Come to think of it, I think I spotted a new form of endemic life. It was just once, at night. It ran away when it saw me, though. Necker could be. Small humanoid creature. Ugly smirk on its face. Got lucky. Would have attacked you in the blink of an eye if it thought for a moment it was stronger than you. Now that you mention it, it had something on its face, around its mouth, like it had just eaten something. This forest is teeming with life. There's an intricate food chain here that is constantly revolving. I wonder if that Necker lost its need to attack anything because it was able to find plenty to eat without doing so. Pretty bold hypothesis. Though it would explain why this one wasn't aggressive. They usually are. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I wonder where it scurried off to. Might have sensed my presence. Danger. Run off somewhere. Once I'm gone, it could come crawling back. If it does, I'll send for our best hunter to capture it. Mind my asking why you chose this line of work? I've always loved critters ever since I was little. That, and it's easy peasy. I'll spare you the details, but long story short, one day I went out looking for frogs, lizards, and snails, and the next thing I knew, I was out here. Just like magic, don't you think? I owe it all to my partners in research for always being so patient with me. See where you're coming from. Got folk like that in my world, in my life, too. They're too good to me. My life wouldn't be what it is today without them. Sorry if this is slow to you all. I'm, I like to soak in everything, so I'm going to be doing all these options for dialogue. Those birds attacked me, too. Any idea why they suddenly turned aggressive? To be honest... I'm just as clueless as you. Unless there was some kind of external factor? Something significant enough to cause a sudden change in the ecosystem? Something that nudged them to the brink of starvation, for instance? Exactly. It didn't seem like that was the case, though. Did you see how they were flying? Completely in unison. It was like... One big flock monster! Oh, jeez. I've been out here in the forest researching endemic life longer than I'd like to admit, but I've never seen them do that. Yeah, I've been out here playing this game more than I'd like to admit, and neither have I, lady. Girl, what's up, bro? It was as if something was manipulating them. Take care now. Be careful out there, Witcher. Clear as day. This is the work of something that wields magic. Powerful magic. Ooh. Need to figure out what it is. Should try to find another commission member. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. Oh, can I gather, like, honey and stuff? Probably. Oh, cool, it counts toward my field research. 
Geralt pitching in. Exploring unfamiliar territory, few things more. Hmm. Was I supposed to see something back there? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Inscription of some kind. Can't decipher it. Member of the commission might be able to. Find a researcher to read the doodles. So a new, uh, oh, I wonder if that's the yellow. Okay. So I want to, I mean, I'm just here to, like, soak everything that they made in for this collaboration. So, I mean, if you all just want, like, whatever the main stuff is, like, huh. this probably isn't going to be as entertaining for you. Same shapes and patterns. So I'm pretty sure this yellow exclamation point on my map... Need to find a researcher who can figure it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this yellow exclamation point is going to be for the side quest. So I'm going to track that down before I go to the red waypoint, which I'm assuming is the chief botanist. Oops. But yeah, so lately though, uh, I've also played, so pretty much since the new year, and I mean, I, I know this is insane, if you all follow... Uh, the vines up there. If you all follow us on social media, you know that we have the Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition. And uh, insanely enough, I have not started playing that game yet. Um, hang on a sec. Wasn't the exclamation point over here? It's funny, I'm like distracting myself, I feel like, by talking, so... I know there was something. I guess I could just go to the red waypoint first. But yeah, so basically, uh, I haven't played Resident Evil 2 yet. Find a researcher to read the doodles, yeah. It says it's in progress. But yeah, since the new year, though, um, a lot of my time has gone to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I started that, and I played it for 118 hours and platinumed it, and absolutely loved it. Um, so I, I've been playing that a lot. around Kaer Morhen are nothing like this. Yeah. It's much more tropical, huh? Um, but yeah, I've also been playing, like I said, Hellblade's Newest Sacrifice, uh, and then some other games that were on my backlog. One in this area. Detroit Become Human, Mario Tennis Aces. What do we have here? Mm, a journal. Notes run margin to margin. Must belong to one of the commission members. Need to look around, look for clues. <laughs> okay, so what was that? Okay, so I guess I can't do Witcher since it just kind of automatically does it. Long stride, deep prints. Took off in a panic. Footprints lead deeper into the woods. Wonder what spooked them. Never seen mushrooms like this before. It'd probably make an herbalist day to get one of these. To Geralt. Do you get a capture net? Yeah. So, they use this for trapping. Bet it saves a lot of trouble. Yeah. It's pretty instantaneous. Let's see, are there any bunnies around here, Geralt? You could have some fun. What are those dudes called again? Oh yeah, Wood Woodland Hares, I think, right? Yeah. Shepherd Hare. Dude, Geralt caught a Shepherd Hare.
tracks all over the place. Hmm. Something pounce on them, they get attacked. Need to look around some more. Another journal. Same researchers, judging by the handwriting. Researcher must have been chased into this cave. I like, don't know if I want to do this yet. I'm afraid this is gonna like cancel out the side quest. Okay, so there's like a yellow exclamation point up here, but when I went over there, it disappeared. But I'm gonna try to do this again. I'm sorry that this, if this is annoying, but I just don't want to miss out on anything. Cause I, I don't know like what's gonna trigger at what point. And it it straight up told me that this was a side quest over here. Like I know that this is the contract that I'm doing with the red waypoints. So. I just don't want to miss out on anything. This is like so cool and I, I don't know like what happens when you finish it if it's just like, oh yeah, okay, hang on. I, I, I don't know if it's like, okay, you know, you just, you're done, you know, you missed out on a... Okay. So there's gotta be just somebody that I find. Same shapes and patterns. Need to find a researcher who can figure it out. So like, it Map was up in this helpful. area. Map ought to be helpful. This is so weird, doing all these, doing these things with Geralt. Like... <laughs> Ciri's been places I know, but I don't think she's ever come to this world. What about Yen, dude? We gotta find Yen. Okay, Scout Flies. What did I do wrong, Scout Flies? Was I not down here? I thought I was down here. I guess I just didn't come far enough this way. Oh yeah, I didn't go up here. Thank you, Scout Flies. It's funny because I was looking for the exclamation point on the uh, radar on the map earlier. All right, all right. Is that a hunter I see? No, it is not. You are? Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Got some questions for you. The Witcher, yes, of course. I am to provide whatever assistance you may need. Commander's orders. If it's questions you have, fire away. Your field of research, what is it? Well, I specialize in small creatures called Linians. For instance, felines, grimalkins, and gajalaka are all species of linians, each with their own unique culture. I spend most of my days traversing the new world, researching their ecology, culture, and lifestyle. Must have strong knees to travel that much at your age. Ah, perhaps in my more youthful days, but these frail legs of mine just aren't what they used to be. I'm afraid I just can't keep up with the little fellows. By my aching ankles, they are nimble as can be. These days, I just get hunters to track them for me. <laughs> Guess the little creatures here can be just as much of a pain as they are in my world. Found some strange markings. Could be linked to the recent events in the forest. Can you decipher them? So, you've seen them too, have you? Those are Gajalaka doodles. 
Regrettably, I have not made much progress in my doodle research, and thus, I'm incapable of deciphering them. Any chance of speeding up your progress? What would it take? I would need to collect many more doodles, which would require the Commission Hunter's assistance. I see. Well, unfortunate to say the least. Take care. Oh. I failed. I mean, was I supposed to look at more? Spare a moment. At your service. Okay. Take care. I mean... <laughs> Part of me wants to, like, look up if I did anything wrong, because I don't want to, you know, like, I, I just don't know, like, if this is the only time I can play as Geralt, you know? Like, is that going to be it if I don't do something right? Um, I mean, he said, I mean, I don't know why it would say side quest failed. Like, I wish it would just kind of be, like... Yeah, side quest transferred to your hunter. Huh. I mean, I guess I'll talk to him again really fast. Just make sure. Spare a moment. At your service. Found some str so regrettably. Any chance? I would need to collect many more doodles, which would require the commission. Okay. I see. Well, unfortunate to say. Take care. Okay. I mean, it says it would require the hunter's assistance. So, I mean... I guess that's it? I mean... I, I, I'm hoping it gets added to my quests. Once I'm not Geralt anymore. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just, uh... I mean, it's just weird. Yeah, I guess I'll just go, uh... I don't know why I keep doing this. I guess I'll just go, uh... To the red waypoint. Alright. Alright, alright. We're just gonna muck through the bog. The swamp. Yeah, I mean... The way it said failed, though, just bummed me out. It made me feel like I did something wrong, but maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. All right, back to the cave. The guy's probably dead by now. We were screwing around for too long. Ooh. Medallions humming up a storm. Magic in the air. Gotta be. Roots, all extending in one direction. Reaching out for something looks like. Need to follow these roots. More tracks. Irregular distance between them. Got away somehow, but must have been exhausted. That's a pretty big leap right there. I don't know how exhausted this person was. Either that or your witcher senses are a little off today. Sir, excuse me, for speaking out of turn. Just... Oh yeah, so Katie and I hit a hundred subscribers before. recently. Unlucky ones at that. Oh. No signs of predation. Roots choke them to death, it seems. Hopefully whoever left these footprints was luckier. Jeez. Poor Puke Puke. Oh my gosh. Dude, these things are like really annoying, but this makes me really sad. I'm 
gonna make whoever did this pay. As long as I get paid, I guess. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I will avenge the... <gasps> oh my! <gasps> A fiver! It's you. You sensed I was in trouble and came to rescue me, did you? These roots came out of nowhere and trapped me here. Hmm? Wait, you are not from the fifth, are you? I'm from the sixth. Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Was sent here to look into certain events happened recently in these woods. Ah, yes. The commander spoke of you. You look quite spunky. What's that supposed to mean? Well, welcome to the new world. I would shake your hand, but, well, you know. I am a member of the research commission. A master of the botanical arts, so to speak. Roots seem to like you a lot. Uh, I assure you the feeling is not mutual. There I was, minding my business whilst conducting my investigation, when suddenly these roots just leaped out towards me. There was no time to think, so I ran away as fast as my legs could carry me. But these roots are persistent devils. I was able to outmaneuver them for a while, but eventually they cornered me here and, well... I was just in the middle of trying to persuade my captors to release me when you showed up. Mean to say you tried to talk the roots around to your point of view? Bit carefree under the circumstances, wouldn't you say? The Commission has quite a capable hunter, you see. This Sapphire Star is the first to arrive at the scene. And exhibits mm -hmm. incredible power that never fails to save the day. <laughs> He's talking about me. Our Sapphire Star has saved so many of us in the Commission. I was sure I would be rescued in no time. I am blushing. But perhaps I rely on our hunter too much. No, no, don't say that. Mm -hmm. Think you might have learned your lesson? No. I'm the hero. There's no lesson here. I'll be lesson? there. Why, the lesson has yet to begin. There is much research to be done on this phenomenon. Guess not. <laughs> need a hand? Please! There are hunters who are in need of my services. This is no time for me to be tied up in roots. All right. But what's in it for me? Mm-hmm. Ah, I had a feeling you would say that. Alas, I don't exactly carry a pouch full of zenny on me at all times. <laughs> However much you require, I'm sure the commander will gladly compensate you. Would that suffice? Gotta say, you're awfully lively for someone who's trapped in tree roots. We'll talk compensation later. Don't exactly look like normal tree roots, these. Definitely something strange about them. And, uh, freeing you might cause you some discomfort. Sorry. I leave the method to you. Just get me out of here. Not the safest way, but Igni would take care of those roots right quick. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty, uh, pretty bold. Can I just whack him? So just do it. Glad I didn't incinerate him. you that was incredible oh my I had no idea you were a wizard <laughs> I'm no wizard I'm a witcher monster slayer ah yes forgive me master witcher now what brings you to this part of the forest looking for information so like plants so much you became a botanist huh it's not that simple, I'm afraid. Sometimes it's hard to tell if I love them or hate them. You see, 
We Wyvarians have a longer lifespan than humans. And when you live for so long, you become aware of certain things. How fleeting life can be, for instance. But plants are different. I can always count on them to be there, no matter how many years pass. In other words, I chose to lead a life with plants so I wouldn't have to bear the pain of seeing my human companions come and go. Call me Craven, if you will. But that was the path I chose to walk. And if that makes me a coward, so be it. I like the character building with this guy. Fear of loss. Wouldn't call it cowardly. It's something we all feel. What's amusing is, thanks to my research on plants, I ended up interacting with humans on a daily basis. Plants have brought back to me what I had once thrown away, and I am forever grateful for it. Saw roots like these on my way here. They common in your world? Absolutely not. I've never seen them before, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I actually did. It is true that plants are able to grow rapidly depending on the stage in their life cycle, but they never grow that fast. In our world, people, monsters, plants, they all operate on the same flow of time and energy. Of course, there are natural phenomena, and at times, things can and do grow at abnormal rates. But those roots are something more. I can't think of any logical way to explain it. The only possibility I can think of is that it might be akin to something like that magic of yours. The roots. Why'd they attack you? Any idea? I haven't the faintest. I was recording in my notebook at the time. Notice anything else during the attack? In all honesty, once the roots took hold, I thought I would end up as some monster's dinner. But luckily, that didn't happen. You saw them too, yes? Those poor Puke Puke choked to death by the roots? Seems they were untouched by any predators. Guess the roots attack anything that wanders within range. Damn territorial, this thing we're dealing with, whatever it is. Plants can be territorial, but never with such awareness. This is no plants doing. It must be something else. These, uh, Puke Puke, what kind of beasts are we talking about? They are large bird wyverns, known for their vividly colorful feathers and scales. They have large, bulgy eyes and surprisingly long tongues, but if you look closely, their features are actually quite charming. You should see one for yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep my eyes peeled. Time I was on my way. Try to stay out of trouble, would you? Might not be around next time to burn you free. Can't always expect hunters to come to your rescue either. All right, you are. I've acquired the samples I need, so I'll remain here on my best behavior. Best of luck to you out there, Master Witcher. Mm hmm. Just try to keep quiet, all right? a hare and fox combined no doubt about it this is a legend's <gasps> doing bet it also transported both me and that necker to this world seems stronger than a normal lesion though abundant life in this forest could be a factor all right need to find its totem should be deep in the woods near the center map ought to be helpful oh man so cool a lesion dude i like don't know anything about this like Witcher collaboration besides like I saw like the trailer so I knew like Geralt was gonna be in the game oh man um I don't even know if I saw the full trailer to be honest I kind of just once I knew it was happening I was just like yeah I'm all in I don't need to that's kind of how I am too like when I'm like seeing trailers for like horror movies especially like in the theater like once I know I want to see it I just like look away from the screen because I'm like yeah like I don't want to like trailers just give too much away 
Okay. Finding the Lushen's totem. Creepy. Yeah, like I was saying though, Katie and I just recently hit 100 subscribers and we appreciate everyone who watches our stuff, everyone who subscribed to our channel. We just appreciate the love, so thank you all. We will be doing a video probably just because, you know, 100 subscribers for us, that was a big milestone. That it was, it, it feels really cool. Um, yeah. So thank you. Alright. Medallion's humming. Totem must be somewhere around here. Oh yeah, speaking of medallion, I, I have... Okay, I have so much Witcher paraphernalia. I, I, I have a medallion of my own. Um, but I, I, I earlier I said this is my favorite game from 2015, but I feel like I should clarify. This is probably my second favorite game of all time, behind Ocarina of Time. I don't know if I've told you all that before, but... I mean, I love The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Like, it is... It is such an awesome game to me. Ooh. Mm. Leshen's totem. Should be able to lure the Leshen out by destroying it. Huh. Burn the sucker. Uh -uh. What? Jagras. What you running from? Probably just an Anjanath. Hey, what you doing? Thought you were running, right? Damn it. Might have known it couldn't possibly be that easy. Alright. Yeah. I'll cut you down <laughs> first. Sweet, dude. My small monster Ever calling research. This is good timer. Come on. Come closer. This is so weird. Fighting Jagras with Geralt. I'm just like. Alright, let's get Igni back. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Leshen could hold sway over other beasts I run into. Need to be careful. Now. This is wild. Slay the Lushen. Maybe should do the trick. Okay. I just gotta. I guess I gotta burn them away. Quick snack. Yum. Oh, come on. 
see. This is Monster Hunter, Geralt. They, they run a lot. You will learn that soon. Even a lesson. And Geralt's health. Talk about... Talk about OP. Yeah, how do you like that silver? I'll dig in a bone pile, dude. Geralt is working on my field research, like, big time. I appreciate it, bro. Dude, this is so wild. This, oh my gosh, this thing is so awesome. Puddle pods. I don't know if that's what it even wants me to do. Oh, can I poison him? Accidentally die. Just gonna play it safe. Ah. There we go. Thanks, bigger wasp. You in the poison puddle, bro? Oh no! Spankly! Come and tackle me! Where's Spankly at? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just... Uh, uh. Attacking. I was about to say welcome to Monster Hunter. Oh, can I ride him? Mount him, I mean? Come on. Alright. Sweet if I could mount him. Not 
not about to let you get away that easy. Okay, so I have the whetstone. Still a lakaru. Thought maybe it'd say Geralt posted the sticker. Alright. Do you feel like this thing's kinda... Kinda whooping my ass. But I gotta say, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I just... Oh man. What if Geralt could just, like, permanently be in this game? I mean, I guess that would kind of take away from having, like, you know, your your hunter and everything, because I'd probably play as Geralt way too much. Four monsters. It's power to summon the same center in certain body parts. Okay. Power to summon a center on certain body parts. Okay, okay, okay. Get out of here, you pretty bird. I forget what you're called. What are those called? Oh no, they're so scared. I'll save you. Woodland Terex, that's right. What am I doing? All right. All right, fools. Come to Papa. Ah. Step over here, Lushin. Come on, bruh. Oh, man. Okay, I guess I just have to fight with these guys in the field, then. Well, let's get my Igni back. I guess I'll just, uh... Clowns? Can a man have a drink in peace? I mean, yeah, killing them is going to be futile because it seems like they'll just come back. Come on. Yikes. It's waning. It's waning. I like hearing that. Yeah, I mean, this is so cool. It feels so much like Monster Hunter World, because, I mean, it it is. But just having, like, Witcher, like, um, text, you know, like, dialogue options, having, like, the music, the, like, just, like, on-screen stuff, like, with quests and side quests, obviously just having Geralt and, like, the voice. It's just, like, it, this is such a cool collaboration. I'm just, I'm so into this. I just hope I can do that side quest with, with my dude. 
finding the uh, someone who can translate the markings. I wish I could mount him though. Who would that be? I might be able to. I may just not have been spot on. How do you like that I love when it just sends Geralt flying. Am I bleeding? No. Oh yeah, I am, okay. I think I just have to stand still or is it kneel down? family together here. Oh, come on, come closer. 
Oh no. Come on. He blew his his uh, opportunity. Okay, okay. I love how they really made this feel like a Monster Hunter fight, too. I mean, this is... It's going. Come on. I need to use my whetstone. if I could shock trap him and trank bomb him, bring him back to camp. I definitely feel like I am soaking it up. starting to piss me off, bro. Happy family's all back. I see, I see you. Thanks. Come on, come closer. Yeah, let's get everybody in the same vicinity here. Sorry for the uh, terrible gameplay. Thanks for waking me up out of that. Okay. I want to burn you all to a crisp. Oh, it is timed. Okay. Well, that's not good to know. Alright. That was bad. Yeah, so I mean, I think I need to kill the Jaggers. It seems like they will stay gone for a while. I just, like, don't know. Wow, that was a new one, I think.
Ten minutes. I got. Yeah, I should have just looked at the clock. Got about nine minutes left. gonna display like a skull when it's close to dying or not. I heard him say it's waning, but... I feel like before it told me the 10 minute warning, I was kind of lollygagging and taking in the, the sights a little too much. Time to end this. We don't have much time. We gotta end this. I like hearing that. I mean, this is really cool. I just, like, at this point, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. It's angry now. Have it your way. Let's go. Like, I want to take time to go get some, like, herbs and, and honey around, but it's like, I don't want to, I, I don't know how much time I still need. Like this. How you like that silver? Jaggers. It's good timing. Come on, guys. Let's all uh, get torched. <laughs> Crap. Damn it. <laughs> Leave me alone! I have like five minutes left. I'm so scared. I want to beat this on my first try, you know? I don't want to have to... I'm like wasting potions too because I keep getting hit by those guys. I should try to kill them. I'm just like... I'm a little frantic right now. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Okay. That all you got. Oh no. Oh god, I'm bleeding too. Okay, okay. Oh god. This is so bad. Oh no. Okay, at least I have two more continues, but I only have like four minutes. Okay. Well? 
Hey, you wanna cook me something? Somebody? No canteen, huh? So wait, is that? Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, man, I am low on time. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is bad news. So I'm gonna gather some potion stuff just really fast. Really fast. Okay. Wait, oh yeah. Wrong button. Okay. So. Okay, good. I'm kind of glad he saw me. So I want him to be near me. Okay. Come on. Okay, so I have like three minutes. I don't know how close I am to beating this dude. Oh. That sucks. He, uh, pops in and out pretty quick. He's a slippery fellow. I, I, I'm really nervous right now, guys. I'm not going to deny. I really want to beat this guy. I feel like I have to be close. I mean, obviously, Geralt said, let's finish this. Man, <laughs> oh no. I don't even care about dodging right now. I'm just like... I'm just like looking up at the clock almost constantly. Not blood! Oh man, and I'm stunned. Uh... Wow. Wow, I'm like on the verge of death. Oh no! No! I wasted it again! Well, guys, what's probably going to happen is I'm going to fail, and then I'm just going to play it again if I can, and then I'll just resume the recording from hopefully beating it, so you guys can see what happens. Because I have, like, less than a minute right now, I think. It sucks, because this whole time I've kind of been just dicking around. I didn't know it was time, and I should have just looked up at the clock. I was not paying attention. My fault. That all you got. Okay. So, I lose. Hopefully, I can do this again. I don't even know, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be back. Um, I'm obviously not going to give up, but, uh, oh, Leshen Resin. Sweet. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give up, but I am going to be back. Um, hopefully with me being about to beat this dude, so. Stay tuned.
No signs of predation. Roots choke them to death, it seems. Monster, in pretty bad shape, but still breathing. Whoa. Okay, so this time I was just kind of looking more around at the puke puke. And... I found one who's still alive. So I guess it's kind of a good thing I failed? So it's a side quest. Aww. Cute. Okay. Careful next time. Puke Puke in peril. Side quest. Broke apart. That's cool. Okay, I got back to this point in about half the time. Now that I wasn't screwing around. Something I was not utilizing either before were these uh, vitality flowers. Whoa! Dude, the puke puke's here. Okay. Fight to the end! Fight to the end! No! Leave him alone, you monster! Oh my god! Wait, I have, uh... Oh god. Have some of this. Oh no! My friend! Yay! I don't even know if I need to do that. But I don't know why else I would have it. Dude, this is like adorable. Ah. Now I am like, I keep doing that. I keep just being just out of range for the, the, the Igni attacks, and I'm like, 
Just wasting time. Dude, this is so crazy that if I had beaten it before, I would have missed all this PK PK coolness. So I'm kind of glad I died, I guess. Because, I mean, this is, like, awesome. Unless something really sad happens. It said fight to the end. It's like he's over there just fighting a Jagras. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to... I also don't know if I can harm him. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. At the same time, I don't know if I want him fighting the Leshen, though. Because he's going to just die. What's up, Pico Pico? You doing alright, buddy? I hope so. Come on. I don't know. Talk on me, Pico Pico. Get me out of here. the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger soundboard right now. Yo, bitch! You could be there just hanging back, so I'm kind of glad about that. He's gonna die over here. I'm just gonna like. Wow. Wait, is he dying? Oh no, he died. The quest failed. Well, that was sad. I saved him just so he could die in battle. At least he like died saving me though. I mean, or died fighting with me. It's better than dying tangled up in those. And those awful vines. Oh man, I am sad. I will take this wyvern tear to remember you by. My sad friend. No, I can't carve him. I won't. Uh, well, that was just sad. I mean, I guess I should have healed him some more. I, like, didn't even know if I was supposed to be doing that. So, I mean, I guess it's my bad, though. I mean, I had more life powder or whatever. Uh. Yeah. I'm, like, all distracted now with my dead friend. Okay. You're gonna pay for that, you clown. You're gonna pay for what you've done. My favorite Puke Puke of all time. You killed him. I should have focused on the Jagras, I guess. Because it seemed like when they weren't on the field, my dude was doing fine. Come on, come closer. Wow. The bleeding is when it gets really bad. Oh, and I'm stunned. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Wow. 
I don't know how I got out of that. And that attack is very good. It's very wide ranging. Man, like part of me wants to like fail just so I can like try to get the Puget Puge back, but I don't know how hard it's gonna be to keep him alive. It was like that was so cool. But he like showed up after I saved him. Is that all you got? Yeah, is that all you got? Actually we shouldn't be saying that, bro. He's a mean dude. I guess I should sharpen my, uh, sharpen the old blade. Ah. Uh. I know that was gonna keep him from teleporting. I hadn't like actually hit him that close to him teleporting yet. With a with a pod. Bleeding and stunned at the same time. <laughs> wow, bleeding again. Damn. It's rough. Oh. Ugh. Dicey. That all you got. Well, that was rough. I got one continue left, but if I fail again, at least I have a chance to keep the Puke Puke alive. This video is turning into a lot bigger of a thing than I intended it to. Kind of just thought I'd pop on and do the Witcher quest. I, I didn't know how hard it was going to be, but I should have figured with... With Monster Hunter World, these are pretty... Normally everything's a, a pretty long learning experience, which is part of why the game's so awesome. I mean, it's... It 
Yeah. However, when I'm trying to make a video of me doing it for the first time... Yeah. Part of me wants to focus on the Jaggers whenever they pop up because they are so annoying. But it's like at the same time. I just want to like focus on damaging this dude because I feel like his health is pretty crazy. I feel like Geralt doesn't deal bad damage. And this is like the what, the fifth stage or something, the fifth area he goes to? So I don't even know, like, Geralt's talking about ending this, but I don't even know if there's going to be another area after this. So it's like I want to do as much damage to him as I can. Last time I definitely spent too much time messing around. Oh, right! Okay. Well, can I carve him? Can I carve him? Oh, yes! This is for my friend! This is for my friend. I'm so sad. Lush and Skull. Alright. A lot of nutrients out of these woods. These materials are strong. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Deliver them to the commission. Could be useful in their research. So that's it. Can't carve him anymore. Now where's my friend? Did he disappear? Did his corpse? Yeah, I think he's gone. I think he was like right here. That was seriously heartbreaking. That was my favorite Puke Puke of all time. I didn't know I could love those monsters. Like, just because they were always so, like... I don't know, they just always annoy me whenever they pop on. Like, those, like... Oh, man. And now, though, I'm like, I, like, love that guy. And he died. And I still never figured out those uh, markings. But I did it! You have our deepest thanks. We couldn't have solved that problem on our own. It's been an honor, Geralt of Rivia. Thank you for coming to the New World. How will you get back to your world? Leshen's portals, I think. Pretty sure I'll find one still open. <sighs> Where's that hunter? I'm right here. Hang on, While I pop into the TV. Leshen, he cleared the forest of a lot of filth. He's our brightest star, so he's rarely in one place for too long. As yeah. soon as that lesson was taken care of, he was already off on another assignment. He sends his regards. Yes, I do. Now then, here's your reward. Hmm. Hefty as that coin is. It can't possibly have any value in my world. Give it to the hunter. Yeah. I couldn't have killed the Leshen without his help anyway. And this, also for your hunter. Man, girl, such a good guy. What is it? Comes off as so. A rune stone. Your hunters don't wield any magic of their own, but in our world, magic exists in some objects as a matter of course. If a lesson ever appears again, tell your hunter to use it to summon flames. Wow. All right. Godspeed to you. Take care. Dude, did Carol just give me what I think he did? Oh my gosh. Man, I just wish I could have saved that Puke Puke. I tell you what. Leshen Claw. Claw, claw. First bone. Well, I should have read that. Um, advanced armor speed. Claw. Okay, curse bone. The bone of a creature that fell prey to a Leshen's cunning cruelty. Leshen resin. I got one of those last time. And a Leshen skull. All right.
flame manipulation. That is so sweet. Now I got Witcher 3, Dark Clouds, and White Wolf for guild cards. So cool. New titles were added. Witcher, Geralt, Ciri, Leshen, Igni, and White Wolf. <laughs> you didn't solve all the mysteries. Try solving them all in a single go. Okay, so that's that's cool that it, it'll let me go back. I'm assuming that's the two side quests, maybe more, but I the two side quests I started. Um... So the Hunter Runestone has been added to my item box. It's got a cutscene there. Alright. So glad I did it. Honestly, I didn't know if I was going to do it on my second try. Once once I died the second time, I was like, ugh. So that was really sweet. That was really sweet. This video turned into a super duper long video. I don't know how I'm going to edit it yet, but... I appreciate you all for hanging with me, and uh, again, for 100 subscribers, uh, not even though we're above that now, I just, I appreciate, Katie and I both appreciate that, and uh, Katie's still out, she should be back soon though, bringing some Chipotle home, so I am gonna, gonna enjoy my, my meal from the Meowskular Chef as a reward for that hunt. What do we got here though? There's always something. You're too good to me. I have something special just for you. The endemic life researcher has got a very interesting request for you. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Probably the necker? Uh, unclassified life. <laughs> Creepy armor for your palico. Oh, well, I gotta get that. <laughs> well, that'll be later. Creature capture. Okay. Necker card. Yeah, alright. Alright, well, I'm not gonna be doing that right now, but that's pretty sweet. As you can see, I I love decorating Spankly here. I, I, I really love the, like, uh, Winter Starfest... Um, snowman head with the like halloween bottom and it looks like a little like just like a like it like it looks like it's supposed to go together kind of it's like a snowman ghost with a samurai uh katana so oh yeah well that was awesome what can i say i am i'm psyched that was so cool I love it, I love it, I love it. The Puke Puke dying was the low point, but everything else was really fun. Um, I'm probably going to play some more, uh, try to figure out how I can finish the side quests, as long as it'll let me do that. Thank you all, anybody who hung around for this whole video. Um, yeah. I don't really know if there's anything else to say. That is the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt crossover with Monster Hunter World. And uh, there's still a whole lot more for me to do, but um, my first impression is it did not disappoint. Again, I said this earlier in the video, this is the game that keeps on giving. Um, the big expansion coming out, Iceborne, I... Uh, let me just say, they have earned my money. Like, Capcom, with this game, I mean... A lot of publishers do some pretty greedy things nowadays with microtransactions, different things. Even, you know, I was talking about, I was raving about Assassin's Creed Odyssey earlier in the video. Like, even with that game, I, I hate that they have that $10 XP booster in it. Because there's going to be people who feel the need to skip some of the grind because they don't want to play all the side quests. Even though, to me, the game was amazing. Like I said, I platinumed it. So obviously I played a whole lot of the game, but some people, you know, they might want more of like a 30 hour experience, 40 hour experience. They're going to buy the, the time saver, the XP booster. And so I just hate stuff like that. I really do. Um, and for as greedy as a lot of games are, I mean, uh, as a lot of publishers are, even Capcom in some cases, um, with this game, it has just been so, so giving. And um, I just, I've gotten so much out of this game for just $60. So I'm definitely going to be buying the expansion. I'm, I don't know how I don't know how much it's going to cost, but um, Monster Hunter World, um, just one of one of the greatest games of 2018. Probably one of the better games of all time. Um, yeah, if you haven't played it, 
I already told you in a previous video, but I think you would love it. If if you like any kind of like action adventure games, I mean, as long as you're willing to put forth like 50 minutes per quest, it's it's so awesome. Um, yeah. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I am AJ with AJ and Katie Gaming, and I will catch you all later. Thanks again for 100 subscribers.